Hello, welcome to part one of importing media. In this tutorial, we will cover how to import media from a DV camera, an analog device, and a DVD or Blu-ray disc. First, let's select import from the studio screen, and this will load the studio import. The first thing you will see is that the interface is brand new. On the top left, you will see import from. We have several options to choose from. I'm going to start out with a DV device. I have my DV camera hooked up to studio using a firewire cable. Below this we see import to. This shows us where all of our video will be captured to. If I want to change the destination, I simply click on the folder next to the word video and we can choose a new destination or create a new folder for our footage. I'm going to select cancel. On the top right you will see mode. We can change our presets, which means we can capture our footage as DV or MPEG turn on or off scene detection, which will allow us to break up our clips, or select if we want studio to stop capturing at the end of the tape. Notice the arrow? We can select this to change our settings. For example, I can set up how scene detection will work. I'm going to select automatic, based on time and date. I like this feature because it breaks my clips based on when I start and stop the camera. Now select the X and my settings are saved. You will also see presets. Click on the arrow and we can customize our capture settings. DV is a larger file, but will retain the highest quality, and I only recommend MPEG if you know your final output is going to be DVD. Over here, I can raise or lower my data rate. The higher the data rate, the more information we have for the clip, and the higher the quality. The choice is yours. Select the X and the settings are saved. File name is exactly what it sounds like. Simply type in a name for your clips and Studio will add numbers after each clip based on how many you have. Before we start capturing, I want to show you a few more things. This black box is where our video will play. We have audio meters to the right. And above the audio meters is a button that will enable full screen playback of our video. On the bottom, we can see the time code of the tape. We can also enter time code in and time code out to capture a video clip. These are the controls that will play back your tape. Select play and our video plays back. Select stop and the video stops. To capture my tape, all I need to do is select start capture and studio does the rest. You will see on the bottom that our clips will appear in a film strip so we can see the progress of what we have captured. I'm going to select stop capture. Remember that our captured files have been moved to the hard drive of the computer. Next, let's select import from the Pinnacle 710 USB which is also the Pinnacle movie box. You will see that we can capture from composite or S-video. If I click on the arrow, this opens my capture settings. I can change brightness, contrast, sharpness, hue, saturation, and audio levels. I can also choose the aspect ratio, 4x3 or 16x9, and if my footage is PAL or NTSC. Select X to close this menu. Remember, Import 2 will let you select a capture folder. Under Mode, we can select our presets and scene detection. I'm going to leave all of this the same, but I'm going to change my file name. Select Start Capture, and Studio begins capturing our footage. Select Stop Capture, and our footage is in our folder. Finally, we can capture a movie from a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. Select DVD Blu-ray, and Studio will access your optical drive. Remember, you can only capture from a non-copy protected disk that is owned by you. Again, if you want to change the capture folder, you can select Import 2. The file name will come off of the disk, or you can change it. To play back the title, select the playback button. To mark this title for capture, set the check mark in the top right corner. If you want the video to play back full screen, you can click on the button on the top left of the frame. Select Start Import and Studio begins to copy your movie from the disc. We are now in Studio, and you will see from our edit screen all of our footage has been placed in our folder. And now we can start editing our movie. I also want to mention that you can also use the import tool to bring in video from your webcam. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on importing media part one. Remember, if you have a file-based camera or are interested in stop motion capture, I recommend you watch importing media part two.